hello again as the second time tonight and actually third time today that I'm reviewing I have changed my clothes it's only because I went out actually earlier on but um, this is my review and my second review of a Black Phoenix perfume uh, this time I'm reviewing their perfume that is called Midway um, this perfume uh, I actually have the resurrected version because it was discontinued and then they resurrected it for their anniversary um, a couple of years ago I'm not quite sure when to be honest it must be on this bottle actually no, it's not. Um, yeah, so I did Beaver Moon previously. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. Um, Midway um, was originally a part of their, um, I think it's Carnival Noir. They did a whole set called Carnival Noir based on kind of a dark carnival. Had some quite creepy sounding oils in it. Um, but yeah, um, if you don't know much about Black Phoenix, then if you just check my review out about, um, that, sorry, that's called Beaver Moon, I say a little bit about it on there actually, but I'm not going to repeat myself every time I do a Black Phoenix perfume review because I have f 50, so it's going to get quite tedious <laughs> if, you, if you're somebody that's watching quite a few. Um, but this one, yeah, this one it was resurrected, so this is a limited edition again, a lot of mine are unfortunately, but I do have some of their uh, general catalogue ones, which I will be reviewing, so watch out for those. Um, and this one, yeah, this uh, Midway, what that is, is, uh, it, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an American thing because when we have carnivals in uh, England or London, it's more like a street party is a carnival to us. But I think a carnival in America in olden times, you know, when you had funfair rides and the freak shows and uh, the Midway is the part of the carnival where I presume it's like the thoroughfare that goes through the middle where you'd have all of the stalls that sell the, the sweets and the sugary stuff and I don't know the toys and stuff I guess so that's what this is themed on uh, Black Phoenix perfumes always have some sort of theming to them and usually quite heavily themed so they're really fun to smell and they're, they're usually something quite different so that's why I've been drawn to their company for quite a while and um, so I'll quickly just give you a description um, of Midway, this is their description. It says it's a bombardment of edible carnival, uh, edible sorry, carnival indulgences, funnel cake, caramel apple, cotton candy, saltwater taffy, and sugar tart. So this perfume is pretty much going to taste like something you want to eat, similar to Beaver Moon that I reviewed a second ago. Um, I'll put it on my hand. They're oils, they're, they're bottles. If you can see the... I'll bring the light over so you can see. This one says Midway Resurrected, kind of in carnival writing. Um, and it says Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab, 5th anniversary. So this was their... Yeah, they, they usually, when it's their anniversary, they will revive an old fragrance that people re that was really popular at the time. And this time around it was uh, Midway. So, yeah. So let me put it on my hand. This one... Um, it's <clears throat> this one's actually quite soft for a Black Phoenix perfume. Um, sometimes they can be really, really large and really big circumference perfumes and thick. But this one smells to me slightly coconutty. Even though I don't think it mentions coconut in it, but you know I'm not even sure what a funnel cake is. Maybe it's got coconut in it. Um, it smells incredibly soft and and powdery. Really, really vanilla-y and and like cotton candy, like if you put your face in a bag of cotton candy and sm went like that and smelt the air that comes out of it, it smells like that. But this one's quite soft and close to the skin, so it's not. I've I've smelt some of their other ones that've got like sugar in and stuff, and they've been massively pro like projecting. But this one is much softer. Um, it says caramel apple. I, I can't really smell apple in this at all, but I can kind of smell caramel. It just smells like a bag of candy and it's really fun to wear um, I've got this much left, my level is about there, I haven't worn it that much um, and it's, really, it's really hard to try and find an occasion really to wear it, I usually wear stuff like this on kind of Halloween or something like that but um, yeah it's quite soft and what happens is when this dries down um, it just kind of it gets even softer and even more kind of vanilla-y, sugary, light sugar. Not We're not talking like brown sugar, it's kind of like light sugar. So yeah, that's my uh, short and sweet review of Midway. My, my Black Phoenix reviews will be quite short because they're... I just find them quite quick to describe. I don't know, I don't know why I just do it. I've been collecting them for a while, so... I've smelt them so many times before. But yeah, if you can find this and you like 
something like that. This this would be a really cool present for a child, I think. I mean, it's so fun. Sorry about that, I actually got cut off there. My memory card got full. That is, just shows you how much I go rambling on about stuff. But I was at the end of the review of Midway anyway. I was just trying to say that it would be a really cool gift for, you know, a kid or a child, because it's, it's just, it just reminds me of that. It's supposed to remind you of being in a carnival, and I, it pretty much does. It reminds me of being at a fun fair. Uh, we call them fun fairs in England, or being by the seaside and getting that kind of smell of sweet goodness that, you know, wafts out of these places that have all the stuff hanging. It's really, really cool. So, thanks for watching. Uh, and if the video was a bit jerky in the middle, it's because I'm going to have to try and edit it, which I haven't done yet. My reviews seem to just go in one piece. So this is a new uh, experience for me. But thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to keep reviewing my Black Phoenix perfumes and. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep reviewing lots of perfumes. I hope you enjoy them. Please leave comments, you know, all feedback's appreciated. If there's something you'd like to see me do, I will happily do it. Apart from, you know, kill myself. Um, so, yeah, that's it, basically. Thanks for watching. Bye.